to go ahead and to go ahead and introduce to you the speaker of the hour, amen. I'm going to introduce to some and present to many, amen. Glory be to God, hallelujah. My best friend, amen, hallelujah. Ride and die, hallelujah. Glory be to God who see my ugly cry, hallelujah. All of you with the boogers coming out and everything gonna be all right, sis. Ain't gonna be all right. Be real, amen. Glory be to God, hallelujah. No more. She said, I don't want to know more with you. Amen. Glory to God. But praying for me. Amen. amen. Interceding. Amen. Uh, having each other's back. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We've seen each other's ups and downs. Uh, and to see what God has been doing. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. In her life. Hallelujah. To know that he's not a respecter of person, but a respecter of faith. Amen. Glory be to God. And that's what you have. Life empowerment. 13 years down and counting. Amen. Hallelujah and counting, amen. Glory be to God, the stirring, amen. Hallelujah, I already feel it, amen. I feel the stirring in my mind, in my heart, uh, in my belly, amen. Glory be to God, uh, hallelujah, all over God's house, amen. Hallelujah, as you go ahead uh, and celebrate the angels of this house, Elder Robert and the Apostle, hallelujah, Katrina Jackson, amen. Stand on your feet, amen. Give honor where honor is due, amen. Life and Carmen, hallelujah, deliverance ministry, amen. Uh, present to you no other than uh, prophetess Jennifer Dow. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come on, you can do better than that. Hallelujah. Train up a child. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah. Hallelujah. Don't stop Hallelujah. praising him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God the glory. Truly give God the honor and 
the glory on this morning. I thank the Lord for being the, the center of my life. Hallelujah. I truly thank God for my husband that Amen. came here. Hallelujah. I just want to say to you guys, when Katrika reached out to me to speak, I looked at the text a very long time. <laughs> you know, when you get comfortable and complacent, you good where you at, but God wants to pull you out. So when I looked at the text and I went in the bathroom, the Lord said, you're going to say yes. I said, by nobody else <laughs> and I immediately I said immediately because if you wait the devil will speak to you he'll tell you everything about you that's not of God and then you start doubting yourself immediately I sent her my yes my yes to God I said I said yes Lord I will go because I said yes to you Lord I said when you send me I will go Hallelujah. So I had to honor that. And I thank God for her always supporting. Woman of God always praying, sending me encouragement texts. But how could I, you know, not come here and celebrate your 13 years? I appreciate you elder on this morning. I see my girl Crystal back there and thank God for you. Amen. I want you to say with me on today, not another year. Not another year. Now is the time. Now is the time. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Now is the time. Now is the time. Hallelujah, Jesus. Not another year I will be in a place of stagnation. Not another. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. When I saw the topic, the stirring, hallelujah, because he is doing a stirring. He is doing a stirring. So you better not miss
that he called you, right? Yes. So what are we doing? My God. We sitting on the calling. Yes. But when God puts somebody else up, you want to roll your eyes. Yes. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with God. You said you chose him, right? Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. But there are things that come with the chosen one. But are you willing to endure? Are you willing to endure? Are you willing to take up the cross? Because the cross is heavy. It's a, it's a price to pay to carry the cross. 13 years, it was a price to pay to carry the cross. In the dark, in the wee hours, when nobody sees the heavy load. I will cry say, God is heavy. But he reminded me of Jesus. It was heavy for him too. It was heavy when he carried it. It was heavy when he carried our sin. It was heavy. He had to remind me. It was heavy for me when I gave my son for you. It was heavy. Not another year. Not another year. Now is the time to get in your rightful place and give it all to God. We living in the last days when things seem to be normal and it's wrong. Hallelujah, there's a stirring taking place. You better not miss it. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, you better not leave here without tapping in while it's stirring up. It's stirring up for you. You don't miss it. If you miss it, it's because you want it to miss it. Don't go panic, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I break every demonic force. I break every satanic attack right now. I break every heavy heart right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every migraine, hallelujah. Every stronghold, hallelujah. Every generation curses, hallelujah. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break the back of poverty. We break the back of bondage. We break it, we demolish it. In the name of Jesus, we come against every filthy heart, every filthy spirit in this place. We come against that in the name of Jesus. Not another year, not another year. Now is the time to receive your blessing. No more. Today, today I jump in. There's a stirring taking place. Yes, God. 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 He's here. He's here. He is here. He's stirring it up. He's the season. He's stirring it up. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I give God the glory. I give God the glory. Can I hear you say hallelujah? Can I hear you say hallelujah? Can I see you lift 
up your hands. Can I see you lift up your hands? Say, Lord, not another year. Lord, today is the day that I get my breakthrough. Today is the day I give God the glory. Sit 
no more lest a worse thing come upon you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made me well. Give God the glory for the word. Give God the glory for the word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Not another year. Now is the time. We are coming out. Yes. Some of us don't like to have a mirror moment. All right now. I was sitting down in the in, in the office right now. A mirror moment. The voice of God is calling us to do better. It's time to go in that new place. In God and with God. Even when people won't release you because they feel like you are not worthy of God's grace to grow in God hallelujah Jesus and my question was what's holding you back what is it in your life that's holding you back what is so great in your life that you cannot pull away what is it that's holding you back that it can't, you can't make a move. It's just like it suppress you. The biggest struggle is how to overcome things that we've been in for so long. And I'm talking about deep struggles, things that embedded in us, and we cannot. It's like a callus. But that's when you know you got to get in the place where Jesus is and get that deliverance. Get that breakthrough and that surrender. That yes, I surrender all. I surrendered all to you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Um, let's talk about a little bit about the pool of um 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 but that's a amen. It's almost like in hospital. When I was looking at the um, pictures, I was going researching, and I even noticed that the pool was 40 feet deep. I was like, well, Lord, I don't think I wanted to roll, you know, go jump in because deep 40, if you don't know how to swim, yeah. 40 feet is, that's like drowning. You may basically plunge, but there was a reason why the pool was there. It was therapeutic pool. It was like, you know, when you go to therapy, they do pool therapy. It's healing. Pool is a healing. If, to, if you look around today, they use the pool as a form of healing to your body. Hallelujah. Because the water is doing something. When the water starts hitting your body, it's hitting certain areas that the, 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 the therapist can't reach. So the water comes and do the job. So when they was waiting for the water to stir it up, they knew once they got in the water, the water was going to be able to touch their body like never before. Because nobody else couldn't do it but the water. But you got to be ready when the water is right. Amen. Amen. So you do not have to wait. Amen. You can get yours right now. Waiting patiently is the fruit of a spirit. But there comes a time when you need to do something. You got to put your faith in action. You got to work your faith. You can't just say, I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to wait on God. But no, you got to put your faith in action to get what you need. Hallelujah. That is, after hoping and praying for improvement. Hallelujah. So we must stir up. We must stir up our faith. Trusting God that he was, he's going to move in our lives. We got to stir up the faith. We cannot move in doubt because doubt is a killer. It will kill your dreams. The minute you get the word of God, you step outside, here comes the enemy. He done snatched the word. And by the time you get home, you don't know what happened to the word. Have that ever happened to you? Yes, yes, to me. Yes, yes. Got a good word. Felt strong and empowered. As soon as I got to the car, it was oh, my God. My God. It says we can be just like the lamb man, full. Some of us can be full of excuses when it comes to prepare for seasons of restoration, healing, breakthrough, 
bondage being broken off your life, yokes being broken. We can have so many excuses. Hallelujah, Jesus. To change for the better, a better version of you. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's time to get ready. The water is stirred up. Ready? You ready to jump in? I'm ready to jump in. Because I'm looking for God to do something in my life. I'm looking for God to do something in my ministry. Are you looking for God to do something in your ministry? Hallelujah, Jesus. The water is ready. It's already stirred up. But we're going to see today who is willing to jump in and get your blessing. Hallelujah, Jesus. If it's healing, it's here. If it's a breakthrough, it's here. Amen. The time, it's time to build on new ground. Amen. We cannot keep building on the same ground. We have to get new material. We have to get new construction wood. We have to build on new ground. It's time to go higher in God. The stirring is taking place. Somebody say stirring. stirring. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. But that's the mean house of mercy. I thought it was so profound. And it said even house of grace. I'm like, wow, it's mercy in that water. No matter what could have happened or you could have done, when you got in that water, mercy was waiting for you. Grace was waiting for you. Healing was waiting for you. Oh, glory to God. Something was taking place in that water. The water is here for you today. What do we have in common with the people at the Bethesda, um, 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 the Bethesda, um, Bethesda, Bethesda pool? Listen, I went over it, over and over. Y'all get it, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I'm just being real. Come on. I even slept with it. <laughs>
You could have rolled too. I was sharing with Minister Tim. I said, what's that thing they used to say in school? Stop, drop, and roll. Honey, I've been rolling. I would have been rolling into the pool. But it's how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? He didn't want it bad enough. He wanted someone to come tie -ta him and say, ooh, ooh, no. But year after year, you mean 38 years? 38 years, you didn't even have an ounce of you to roll? Excuses. Because Matthew 7 and 7 say, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find me. Knock, it shall be opened. The Bible said it, not me. He said if you, if you want it, come and seek me. My God. Then we have some with no issues. No sickness, capable of moving freely, but they are just lazy. Every year you miss an opportunity. Say not another year. Not another year. The time is now for you to come out of the swamp. It's time for you to press forward. It's time for you to receive it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're talking about the stirring. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Not another year. Time is not on our side. It's moving. You don't see today? Just look around you. Your workplace, the TV. Look around you. Time is not waiting for us. You go into work tomorrow, you hear another co-worker die. You hear someone so is dying. You see war is taking place. So what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? And he's stirring it up. Hallelujah, Jesus. We need self, we need to have a self-reflection. I was watching the Olympics with my husband, and I said, wow, they work so hard. They do all of this stuff. And I'm not a person that watched the Olympics, but my husband loves it. And he said, I said, so when is coming back next year? He said, no, every four years. So I said, you mean to tell me if they don't get it? He said, no. I said, another four years? So you mean to tell me after all this, if they miss it, they got to go back in four years? And then if they miss that, he said, if they miss that four years, it's another four years. My God. So I was, I was that kind of like, I'm like, well, that's not good. And some of us, this has happened to a lot. We missed the opportunity when the water was being troubled, when it was stirring up. We missed the opportunity. You miss it because that's not your favorite preacher. You miss it because that's not your favorite praise and worship team. And it could have been in that. It could have been in the preacher belly. It could have been, well, hey, we get it. We got to come out of it. You miss out when the trouble was being, when the water was being troubled. Excuses. Our faith is not where it needs to be in God. Not on time and never on time. We always complaining. We always making excuses. I'm speaking to myself then. I said, we always making excuses. We always complaining. It's not me, God. It's not God. No, it is you. It is you. But I thank God for the people who's been holding on. God is sending angels on your behalf because of your faith. Because of your faith. I was reading in Psalms 19. It says, Psalms 19, 119, I'm sorry, verse 16. It says, I make haste and did not delay Amen. to keep your commandment. And I, I I had to go and research. I loved reading more. And then I found this in the in my commentaries. It says, in the moment of spiritual urgency, immediately action towards God's command is vital. The psalmist reflects a sense of urgency and determination that remind us of the importance of a swift obedience. When we feel 
feel conviction. This verse speaks to the believers need to respond quickly to the call of the Lord. But it is, but it is in repentance are fulfilling his commandment by taking immediately step towards God's testimony. One demonstrate a heart ready to follow his will without hesitation. Are you willing to follow his heart without any hesitation? You're not even going to pick up because you're ready to follow. And it's that the essence is found in recognizing the temporal nature of our decision. Improvising that procrastination can lead to miss. To miss opportunities for grace and growth. The psalmist's commitment reflects on critical principle that when we feel prompt by God's spirit, we ought to act decisively as it is written, I made haste and did not delay and to keep my commitment. This resonates deeply with us calling for a diligent and responsive faith. Faith in action. And it closes says, the encouragement here is to reflect on how swiftly we respond when God call us to act. Illustrating, it is illustrating a pattern of faithful living. Quick to listen. Quick to respond. That's when you got to be quick with it. You got to respond to that thing quickly. You can't wait. You cannot afford to wait. You cannot afford to sit there. Hallelujah. I remember when I couldn't move out of bed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I remember when I couldn't move out of bed. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I was sick in my body. Hallelujah, Jesus. I was going through depression. And the depression that would come over me was chronic. I would stop eating. I would stop drinking. Marjorie can testify. Kay can testify. They would watch me lay in the bed like a zombie. I wouldn't even talk. The enemy was trying to kill me. One year I'm out of it, I'm okay. But anxiety had a hold of my life. I was going crazy. I was at work. Hallelujah. I couldn't even focus right. I was 216 pounds. Less than a month, I was 170. I was 170. Sickness after sickness. Mind. Hallelujah. My mind felt like it was exploding. Three o'clock in the morning, I will call elder. I said, I can't, I can't, I can't. She will walk and come see about me. Hallelujah. She would ask me, what do you want? I said, I just want to live. I just want to live for my children. I just want to live, Apostle. I just want to live for my children. I just want to serve God. I don't want to die. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. And one night I was laying on my couch. Hallelujah, Jesus. I was laying on my couch. This woman of God text me. She said, prophetess, God told me to pray for you. The devil will not have your mind. The devil won't have you. I pray. Hey, shake up a little more time. This is the first time she hearing this. This is the first time. I was muted. I couldn't speak. I couldn't speak. Hallelujah, Jesus. I backslid. Come on, can I talk? Can I change the transparent? Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm, hallelujah. Yes, I was very grounded in church. I'm, I got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm, but something calls life. I went back. I went back. I got sick even worse. I had a blood clot in my body from June. They didn't find it till December. But that's after I met my husband. The atmosphere was stirring. My season was coming. I didn't know it because I was out of his covering. I was out. I chose to walk away. I chose to walk away. Hallelujah, Jesus. I got out of his covering. I got out. Hallelujah, Jesus. I met my husband on Thanksgiving weekend 2011. And I met him that Friday. And he looked at me before I went home because 
Spirit of the Lord started speaking to me. But I was sick. I just had surgery. I told you I was sick in my body. And then he hugged me. And he, first he shook my hand. I was like, what is this? He shook my hand. Because when you so used to people looking at you like you a piece of meat. You think that's the right way for a man to introduce himself. But my husband shook my hand. He didn't even come near me. He just shook my hand. Hi, and backed up and said, how you doing? And I thought it was strange. I said, what is this? Who, what kind of man is this? He was already fasting. He was already praying. He didn't just, he just he knew God was taking his assignment because I was an assignment. My God, say that. And before I left, he said, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but this is your season. It's your season. He said, go listen to the song. It's your season. I got in the car. I said, my season, huh? God ain't thinking about me. God forgot about me. Everybody else getting married. Everybody's doing well. I'm struggling in my body. I'm sick in my body. But I'm going to tell you when that bug clock came. After he said the season, after you said your season is here, all hell broke loose. Hallelujah, Jesus. I woke up, I couldn't breathe. I said, something is wrong. He called me, he said, hey, you dropped in my spirit. Can I pray with you? I said, yes, I don't feel good. He said, go get checked out. I'm going to go ahead and be quick. I went to the hospital. I got checked out. They said, we see, we see fluid in your lungs. They sent me to doctor's hospital. And I wasn't there. They said, we just want to see who is this miracle. Because the young lady that was 24 died of this in three days. You mean to tell me you had this in your body since June and we found it in December? Somebody say my season. My season. My season. The water is being burned up. You better not miss it. And then being in there, my husband became an instant caretaker. Someone he met less than a month. He was taking orders from the doctor. This is what your wife, that's what they said. I was looking at him. I said, this is what they said. Your wife. And he said, okay, I got it. Was giving me shots of blood thinners. Hallelujah. Was making sure I was eating the right food. Was taking on two children that was not his. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, my season. And let me tell you, after that, yes, we had our daughter. Hallelujah. After we had Nyla, I went through postpartum depression. On top of the depression that was hitting down on the inside and I didn't know my mind was going but let me tell you about an angel when minister Denise had to come dress me they seen the dark side my clothes was falling off of me we had to do a book bag event and I said I met Lady Chanel Moore and Pastor Moore great woman of God great man of God and she said meet me at the church we um, we can discuss the event and I said yes and we went on the that, I believe it was that week I had a dream I was so sick I was seeing shadows in my house you basically could see the demon you can see him walking and I was I see you I see you over there I'm not afraid of you but I was so weak when you don't have prayer you have no power to fight when you don't have the word you have no word to fight I was backsliding I didn't have no prayer life the way I needed to. I didn't have the word the way I needed to. So I couldn't fight. So I had to call on my sisters. Um, they had to fight for me and pray. Um, that's why you need friends um, that's going to fight and pray with you. That's going to stand with you. Don't talk about you. Don't say, girl, she don't went back out there and look what's going on with her. But no, they stood with me. I said, 
Minister Denise pray with me in three days. The enemy gonna take me out. See, when you don't know, when you're not in place. You think it's the devil. You think it's the, you're not in place. I was not in place. So immediately fear. Fear. But the same time is stirring. There's a stirring taking place. There's a breakthrough. church. My baby was a baby. My night was a baby. We walked in the church. You can feel when unclean spirit is around you. I sat in the front row. Lady Chanel won't put me in the front row. The spirit was high. It was high. And I said to her, we got to leave. She said, why? I said, I feel it coming on. I feel my body was shaking. I said, I got to go tell Chanel more. I walked to, to First Lady more. I said, thank you for inviting me, but I got to go because I've been dealing with these things. She said, what is it? And I told her what it was. She said, she grabbed my hand. She said, today is the day that it started. Today is the day you get your breakthrough. Because you know why? There's another young lady that's going through the same thing. There go my dream. I said, my God. She grabbed my hand. She snatched me back into the sanctuary. She went to the praise worship team. Come on, there was a stirring. There was a stirring taking place. She went to the praise and she said, continue praising. Continue praising. And the elder Timothy came. He walked up to the Lord of God. He took both of his hands. He put it on my head. And he looked at me in my eyes. And he called that demon. He said, you would not have her. They begin to pray with me. My clothes falling out. You don't care. Because at that time, I heard the clock ticking. I heard a clock ticking. I kept saying there's a clock ticking. And they was praying. The warrior was praying on me. I was purging. I heard the clock ticking. It's like it was a race for me. I seen the altar. I began to crawl on the altar. And Pastor Moore, he said he was at a meeting and the man of God told him, let me pray with you, Pastor, because when you get to the church, it's going to be high, the spirit is going to be high. And when he came, he saw what was taking place. When he got on the mic to preach, he began to preach. Oh my God, but he couldn't go any further. He said, I got to stop. Hallelujah, I'm done here. And he said, God, I hear you. He said, God is saying to somebody, in three days, I fell to the floor. Hallelujah. And I just felt everything just break, 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 break. Not another year, not another year. But now, now is the time. Now is the time. Not another year. Break, break. Everything the enemy said was a lie. So every medication that they stopped as well. The water was stirred up. And I got in the water. I got in the water. I was strong. I want to stop. You want to fight me? I've been married six years. Redemption. Redemption. Do you want redemption? Do you want redemption? Do you want redemption? Do you want redemption? Hey. Do you want redemption? Do you want redemption? The woman of God said, Now is the time. Not another year.
Hallelujah, Jesus. There's a stirring here. 13 years. The stirring. The stirring. He's stirring it up. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Jump in. Don't be afraid of the fire. You get in 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 the fire. Not another year. Not another year.
Hallelujah. And year after year, you find yourself in the same situation. But God said, not today. Not another year. Now is the time. God has chosen you both for such a time as this because of the perseverance, because of the endurance, because you were not afraid of the fire. God said, I'm going to do something special for you all. I'm going to do something for you. He said, the crown is breaking. The crown is breaking. Hallelujah, Jesus. The crown is breaking. Hallelujah. New crowns are going to be built in the name of Jesus because of your heart, your heart posture. Hallelujah, Jesus. He sees the heart, the pureness of the heart. Hallelujah. You walk the word. You preach the word. You live the word. You transparent with the word. You don't sugarcoat the word. You tell it like it is. And because of that, you have found favor. Oh God, in his eyes. He said he's going to do it. Do not be worried. I don't see here for you longer. I see new crowns. And it won't be much. It won't be much. It won't cause. Because God is going to provide. He's going to make the way. He said, but I need you to step up on faith and begin to search your new home. You got people behind you. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I pray, hallelujah, for more and more to come. 13 years. They don't know the outs. They don't know the ends. They don't know the heaviness. But you carry it. You carry it and God carries you. Hallelujah. And he bless you. He bless you with a mighty powerful man of God. Hallelujah. Don't just speak the word. But he lived the word. And he went through some things. And he saw some things. And he knows. He knows. That's why he put y'all two together. Life empowerment. I want y'all to look at him real good. Because I believe God is taking you. By grace. Amen. To another new ground. And it's going to be home. It's going to be home. It's going to be home. Nobody ain't going to have to push you out. Huh. Nobody ain't going to put no time on it. Because it's going to be home. Do you stand with your leaders? I'm going to get Elder pray over the woman and men of God. I believe she has a prophetic prayer. I tell you, she has a prophetic flow. God use her in a mighty way. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Spread hallelujah towards your leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for the word on today, Lord God. We thank you for the stirring, oh God. Father, as your people stretch their hand towards your leaders, Lord God, touch them from the crowns of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord God. Father, order out their footsteps in your word, Lord God. Father, what you say, oh God, is yes and amen, oh God. And your mind do not change about them, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for the stirring, for the breaking, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, for the break of day, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, for the sun shining on the other side, oh God. I thank you for the vision, oh God. I thank you for the provision, oh God. I thank you, oh Lord God, that you were stirred up in the heart and the mind of your people, oh God. That they will see in the spirit and not in the natural, oh God. Remove the scales off their eyes, oh God. So they will know, Lord God, they are more than enough, Lord God. They are more than enough, Lord God. That they are coming, oh God. From the north, south, east, and west, oh God. That their labor is not in vain, Lord God. Their fasting is not in vain, Lord God. Their prayers are not in vain, Lord God. You are sending people of influence, oh God. You are sending the destiny helpers. You are sending the kingdom financiers, oh God. Hallelujah. To go ahead and provide, oh God, the vision, the mission, the beliefs that you have given, Lord God, for life and permanent deliverance, church, oh God. I thank you right now, Lord God, as you go ahead and sharpen, oh God, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. Equip them afresh, oh God. Renew their mindset to be kingdom minded. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Give them a heart of evangelism, oh God. Father, I thank you right now, Lord God.
God as you stir it up in the atmosphere, stir it up in their mind, stir it up in their heart, stir it up in their belly, oh God. Let the wells of living water well up on the inside, oh God, and let their torch continue to burn for you, Lord God, for the things of you, Lord God. Father, I thank you, Lord God. Shut the mouth of the naysayers, oh God. I thank you, Lord God. Oh, Father, my Father, Lord God, we come against, oh God, every false apostle, every false prophet, every false prophetess, oh God, that put their mouth, oh God, on the children of God, on your people, oh God, on your leaders, oh God. Let their tongues get stuck to the roof of their mouth. Confuse the enemy's camp, oh God. Confuse the enemy's camp, oh God. Confuse the enemy's camp, oh God. Let them no longer see them, Lord God. Cover them under the blood. Hide them under the cross, Lord God. Submerge them, Lord God, in the blood of the Lamb, Lord God. Stir it up for them, Lord God. Stir it up for them, Lord God. Stir it up, Lord God. As they dip into the pool of the blood of the Lamb, Lord God. Oh God, my Father, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. Oh God, I get them on you. Oh God, I thank you, Lord God. Oh God, wolves and sheep clothing. Expose and illuminate, oh God. Expose the witches, oh God. Every work of darkness, it will not penetrate. It will not infiltrate. It will not cross over, Lord God. In the matchless name of Jesus, no Haitian voodoo, no witchcraft, no obia, no santeria, no hallelujah. West African magic will not cross over, will not move over. It will not move. As they build on the sure foundation of you, Lord God. Christ the Son of Rock, that life empowerment, deliverance church. Stand on, Lord God. We give you the honor, we give you the praises and the glory, oh God. I'll let you as you shout. Shout so that he can dissipate every erected altar that try to come against this church, that try to come against your leader. Shout with a great big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seal it with a great big hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we receive. Somebody say, I receive. My God, we're out of time. Oh my God, hallelujah. Somebody say, I receive. My God, my God, we got to bring Elder Marjorie the minister to us. Amen. How many of you receive that? I don't know about you, but when you pray and you can feel it, my God, in the name of Jesus, we know that we're out of time. I want you to grab your tithe. I want you to grab your seed. I want you to grab your offering. Make sure every lady in this house, make sure you get a bag, amen. And somebody say next week. Someone say next week. Listen, I remember when the Lord said to me, I want prophetess Dow to start. I said, okay, whatever you want, God, I'll do it. Someone say, now we understand. Someone say, now we understand. Lift your tithe, lift your offering. If you're giving online, it's Zale. You could do 305 336 If you have a credit card, you can come and swipe it. If you want to give via cash app, it's dollar sign. Is it life? 1406. Good. Dollar sign life 14. I'm old school, so I'm one of the only few ones who do check. Raise your, raise your offer and stand. My God. Somebody say stir. Somebody say, I'm going to keep it. Say, I'm responsible. Say, I am responsible to maintain the star. Amen. Stand to your feet as I pray. And we're going to close out. Hallelujah. Because I know we're over time. Father, we thank you for the givers. Cheerful givers. Glad givers. I thank you for the tithers. The seed sowers. I decree and I declare, God, as they give to this great ground. So we can continue to build. You said no good thing will you withhold. In the name of Jesus, I'm commissioning you to give us seed. Whatever the Lord gives in your heart to give. In the name of Jesus, give us seed. In the name of Jesus. And so God, want my tithe and my seed. And so God, I thank you for the weight of this word. The glory that is in this place. Thank you, God, for the stirring. Thank you, God. You're stirring everything about us. You're stirring everything in this atmosphere. In Jesus' name, give me with the spirit of expectancy. And we say, Amen. Can I find some?
somebody who has the, the cloth, amen, the offering, the offering, the offering, hallelujah, keep praying, prophetess, keep praying, hallelujah, 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 we bless you, we bless you, God, we worship, those of you who are giving online, God bless you, thank you for being with us, 13 years, hallelujah, hallelujah, we bless you, we bless you, we glorify you, we magnify you, we exalt you, I don't know about y'all, but I stepped in today, how many of you stepped in, and you're gonna step in and never step out, we're not just stepping in, it's not in or out, you are either all in, or you are all out, how many of you are all in, how many of you are all in, you're watching online, how many of you are all in, somebody say I'm all, next week we have Apostle Taylor, listen the roof is about to be blown off, Lord help me, Help me because he's going to come and minister to you. How many of you know that God got the glory on today? So God, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, I thank you that even as a woman continues to pour, somebody stretch your hand to her. Somebody say one thousand fold. Somebody say release. Somebody say God release it back to her. Somebody say God restore. Somebody say God fill. Somebody say God as she is priming the pump God. God, I thank you for restoring uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I decree and I declare a uh, in the name of Jesus, the opening. Uh, God, we thank you today. Uh, Father, I thank you for blessing this house. Uh, thank you, God, for keeping us 13 years uh, as we continue to celebrate. Uh, may the grace of God uh, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, the love of God, the Father, the full fellowship, communion, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, rest remain uh, and abide with us all. Uh, Somebody say star. 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 In Jesus' name. Can I get a hallelujah? 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 Hallelujah. Hug someone. Love on someone. We dismiss.